Hello friends and welcome back to Do News. I am your host, the King of Do, and yes, I've been gone. I have not been here for you guys the last couple days, but I've been at hard at work on your behalf. I've uh, been setting up some new mining uh, rigs, uh, helping a lot of friends actually uh, get into cryptocurrency blockchain technology. So uh, it's been kind of crazy. Um, it also has probably been the busiest and the hardest uh, time at my current work since uh, since I've began there, um, but it has come with some great rewards. I have definitely uh, hit some milestones as of late, and um, I'm doing great. Um, but it's a lot of hard work. It's been taking a lot of time, and uh, Chewy wants to say hi. Say hi, Chewy. Um, so doing well. I uh, missed you guys, but I'm here to bring you the news. That's what you're here for, right? So let's get right to it. Um, Nim is uh, yeah, got a little blog post here that I found fascinating. You know, everyone calls Nim the sleeping giant um, because it's being nice and quiet. I talked recently about how Nim is going to be changing their uh, fees very soon, their transaction fees, to make it um, a lot more interesting to developers make it more uh reduce that uh entry point right as far as costs go so um but here we have a cool little thing they're doing where uh wordpress um and woocommerce so woocommerce if you don't know is basically a nice little place to do some e-com um sell some stuff um build your own store and so uh if you head on over to woocommerce you can check it out but essentially um via api um, very easily, uh, this article is showing how you can actually integrate it into your site. So if you're a little more on the savvy side, you can actually start taking advantage of some NIM payments. So that's really exciting. Um, so yeah, head on over to the NIM blog and, uh, if you have a WooCommerce site, why not? Why not check it out and see what you can do? Um, and you can interact with the blockchain. And all you need to know is a little PHP, a little JavaScript, you're good to go. Moving on, um, China is testing um, a digital currency. I've mentioned this uh, in the past, but more reports are coming out. Um, the The latest news was is people basically saw some key players in, in, in the crypto world um, walking into the mint, and they had meetings at the mint, and it was pretty. It wasn't really secretive. Everyone kind of knew about it um, that they're looking into it, but essentially. Um, China is looking at um, possibly having a digital version of their current uh, currency. And um, so they're trying to figure out how that would work. And uh, what would that do for the crypto sphere? That's what I really want to know, guys. So let's, let's imagine that by the end of the year, China um, has in, finished their investigation. Um, and they basically announced by... 2019 or 2020 or something like that that china will officially have a digital hybrid currency what would that be like um it could be very interesting um i think that the markets would respond ridiculously well uh in some regard because essentially china would be validating everything that we love and we believe in here in the crypto sphere right um, but at the same time, wouldn't some cryptocurrencies maybe get hurt? Um, the fact that a cryptocurrency exists that um, is backed by a government. Um, and I know that I'm going to have a bunch of people freaking out. Oh, that's centralization. Um, businesses and governments are rushing, racing as fast as possible to gain control of this technology uh, before the rest of us do, uh, before the decentralization concepts take deep root, because that essentially removes their control. That removes their ability to govern, uh, their ability to um, have control. So um, it's concerning, I'm sure, uh, to many people who actually understand this stuff. Um, so no matter what, no matter which side you're on, if you think you know government is good and centralization is okay, um, or you're on the decentralized side, either it doesn't matter either way what side you're on. But um, at the end of the day, we need to be talking about it. We need to be having good discussions about it 
and start vetting out the possible scenarios because um, it's not a matter of if, it's when. We know that, that governments are gonna get heavily involved. Um, but I'm a big fan of governments doing taking this approach rather than uh, criminalizing everyone, right? So some countries, that's the way it is. Everyone involved with this stuff is criminalized and uh, painted as a criminal. And then in other parts of the world, the governments are embracing it and becoming leaders um, in the next digital age. I don't even know what to call the next digital age. We need to come up with a new name for it. If you have an idea for a good name for the next digital age, uh, put it down in the comments. I'm curious to see what you guys think. Um, but coming off of that, I'm actually going to go out of order here. Um, the feds are basically looking to target uh, crypto activity. And um, essentially, next year, they're proposing that next year, the, the U.S. government spend $8.7 billion. Billion dollars. Guys, 8.7 billion dollars holy crap it's a really good thing that they can just print that for free that is an insane amount of money they want to hire over 33,000 positions get this only 51 million dollars will be used to build anything holy crap okay <laughs> anyhow guys they're they're really trying to crack down on criminal activity um, define that, I guess, uh, is, is supporting a decentralized, uh, blockchain, uh, used by criminals, uh, make me one. I don't even know if a criminal is using it. I don't know if I'm confirming criminal transactions. Uh, you know, could they just start running around and putting a ton of people in jail and, you know, are we start? Are we gonna start putting, you know, all these all these people in prison? I don't know. Eight point seven billion dollars. Woo. Oh boy. Anyhow, I thought that was amazing. Moving on. <laughs> Visa is hiring blockchain engineers for a new uh, payment gateway, and I thought it was really interesting. This article here. Um. I saw comments about this um, across various forums, and one person said well, I, one of the job posts was for an Ethereum blockchain expert, someone with eight years experience. Wait a second. Yep, it's 2017 still. Eight years experience. Okay. So um, if you're listening to this channel and you have a time machine, um, you might have a job. Uh, here at Visa, you qualify for not even Vitalik. Not even Vitalik is qualified for this uh, Ethereum-based uh, and Ethereum-focused position at Visa. Uh, it's probably just an error. You know, things in HR are so standardized and boring, and so much red tape in large corporations like this. Um, it's just worth the giggle. I hope you guys are laughing. Um, I know I did. Um, so, uh, Wager, um, their ICO sold out, if you got in, uh, you know, it went on for a really, really long time, uh, I seriously considered it, and I am still considering it, there were some gaps I found personally in their plans to roll it out, things like, what blockchain is it even on, the, like, 101 basics, like, <laughs> Uh, we'll tell we'll, we'll announce that later okay now I will say their slack was crazy active there's a lot of interest in this and they did a great job answering even my own questions um, and I actually really want to thank them thank you to the to the wager guys uh, especially all your moderators in the slack channel uh, you guys were giving me information uh, that uh, I didn't think you would answer to be honest and uh, really was impressed by the way you you treated myself and others as I saw it. Um, so I am I am at, so far a fan of Wager. Um, 
But they finally announced, they, I guess this is the big announcement, the whole reason I'm talking about Wager, they finally announced that they're going to release their coins on Waves. So that's about all we know. It's going to be on, it's going to be through Waves. And guys, it's not that crazy exciting that they said that to me. It's just like, okay, I need more. Um... Believe it or not, you can go create your own uh, currency on Waves very easily for any purpose. It only costs one Wave to create one. So right now it's about four or five bucks to go and create your own currency on there. Your own token, whatever you want to call it. So are they just going to go over there and create them and disperse them? And like, then what? Um, I did talk to them a lot. I, 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 I know the process and what's required for like having a master node and things like that as far as reporting the scores of the games and who the winners are, um, things like that. I know a lot about Wager, um, but I still don't know the critical things to uh, lay out my hard-earned money on it. So... Anyhow, guys, be looking for more news because I think, I'm hoping, that this is uh, just the first of many as they roll things out. And, um, yeah, just keep your eyes peeled for Wager. Um, the GDAX. The GDAX. The giant crash that happened the other day. This was big news today. If you haven't heard this yet, this is important. This is the best PR move in the history of cryptocurrency blockchain technology. Well, I guess you could argue that if you're a business perspective that maybe, maybe hard forking Ethereum was the biggest news that helped the most people. I know there are people out there that are going to yell, kick, and scream that I would even suggest that because Ethereum Classic is the true, uh, original, decentralized, smart contract platform. And I uh, won't lie, I actually believe it is too. I do. Anyhow, but huge news. They are going to refund everyone who got wrecked. I was telling you guys on this video a couple days ago that there are people who lost everything. Uh, people may have already took their lives. We're talking that kind of money, guys. Like, it was disgusting and sick. Anyhow, Coinbase and GDAX essentially have uh, agreed to re-roll back and out of their own piggy bank pay for people's losses. The best PR move Coinbase could have ever done right there. They, they, huge, huge, guys. Now, I don't know if this is some type of response in, to maybe how many attorneys and class action lawsuits and things like that might have been threatened. And it's like, wow, it would just be cheaper to give everyone their money back and, like, have a good PR move. I, uh, you know, I don't know how the decision came about, but it was the right one. I want to uh, thank the people over at Coinbase and GDAX for doing the right thing in a world that we live in where we're, we're looking around wondering every little thing that's happening is, is this, is this a scam? Seems like everything's a scam right now. Um, although there still has yet to be a very real one. A, you know, there's people trying to send out fake addresses and creating fake websites I mean, the kind of scams where unless you are completely blind or have no idea what you're doing, you would fall for. Um, for most of us who are in this space and understand what's going on, the scams are just laughable and sad that some people fall for them. Anyhow. Kudos. Kudos to those guys over at the GDAX. Um... I'm going to go ahead and read a quote to you from this article because I think it's very important. And this is actually quoting um, a rep for GDAX. 
We will establish a process to credit customer accounts which experience margin call stop loss executed on the GDAX Ether USD order book as direct result of the rapid price movement at 12.30 Pacific Time, June 21st, 2017. This process will allow affected customers to restore value of ETH USD account to the equivalent value of their ETH USD account at the moment prior to the rapid price movement. If you are affected, they're going to be following up with you next week. So just sit tight and know that they'll be reaching out to you. Um, I hope anyone who was affected um, is able to retain uh, their money and get it back that's pretty cool i still don't really think it's like their fault unless it was and is this their them admitting i don't know i don't know if they're admitting it but anyhow all right um huge news apparently the ceo of fidelity is huge fidelity investments is a very large investment firm especially if you're in the united states you've heard of these guys before um and essentially they're gonna start working with Coinbase. They're going to partner with Coinbase and uh, start offering cryptocurrency uh, investment opportunities. So uh, be looking out for that. That could really, really ramp things up in our space if we make it easier for public money to move in in a way where the, uh, it's, uh, the average person feels safe. Um, and it also may give some um, hedge fund managers the opportunity to get into this space uh, in a way where they probably couldn't before. And last, Porsche. Porsche has announced that um, they're going to be working on some new blockchain technology. And uh, so I hopped over to the Porsche website to see what's hot. I got to say, guys, I really, really like everything Porsche is doing in the last couple of years as a business. I don't even know if you can buy a stock in them, but I really like what they're doing as a luxury car company. Other luxury car companies are getting left in the dust by a company called Tesla. And uh, Porsche is the only one that's truly fighting back and offering premium luxury uh, amenities in their cars. And blockchain technology will be one of them. Be looking out for the first blockchain um, car key technology to be implemented on Porsche. But I would like to say we'll probably see it on Tesla first. And I just wanted to show you guys this beautiful Porsche 911 Turbo in that beautiful Mountain Dew yellow, uh, if I do say so myself. Um, you know, I know everyone's uh, saving up their money for the Lambo to drive it to the moon, but um, I might be buying my Porsche and driving it to Mars. So we'll see, guys. Um, not not the hugest Porsche fan. I think I'd go old school. I might get like a like a old school like uh, Diablo. Mm-hmm. That would be a hot car to drive around. Engine in the back. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know I did. I missed you guys a lot. And I apologize for taking some time off. But the things that I've learned, um, the wisdom that I've gained in the world of uh, mining um, and uh, just just general technology continues to increase. And um, it's, really, it's going to help pay dividends in this show in the long run. It's really going to help me be able to talk about things happening in that world a lot better. So um, I spent a lot of time um, just basically uh, increasing the amount of mining that I'm doing and uh, doing things like setting up my uh, setting up places. I'm not going to say where I where I'm keeping all my mining equipment, but essentially uh, properly preparing for cooling systems electrical systems things of that nature um so i've learned a lot about electricity <laughs> and uh things like that i've also been um i haven't been doing any uh any burst coin mining but it's something that i'm looking at if you're burst coin mining let me know if you are and uh, how it's going for you um i know that if you started a few months ago you're probably doing really well um, and your equipment's probably about paid off soon, but, um, it's just interesting. It's an interesting time to potentially get into it. I know that I'm still super disgruntled about Amazon getting rid of my cloud storage. So, um, I am all about some other solution that I don't have to pay a ridiculous, 
I don't I'm not limited and I pay only for what I what I need to pay for and things like that I don't like having to pay oh it's sixty dollars for a terabyte or something and it's just like really uh, really you gotta be joking you gotta be joking the amount of money that they're making guys is ridiculous uh, just absolutely ridiculous uh, the decentralization of storage, the potential that it has is so much bigger than any of us can comprehend strictly and in, in how cost effective it's going to be. If you're paying for cloud storage, imagine in paying one fifth of what you're paying. Um, that is, that's how technology is supposed to work. Things are supposed to get cheaper over time, not more expensive over time. And um, man, just get an external hard drive, guys. Don't this cloud service stuff there's technology now where you can set up like a little server uh you know an all-in-one hard drive slash server in your home and it's basically like cloud storage without all the monthly fees or yearly fees so anyhow guys uh th the end is nigh for uh cloud storage solutions and we will go into decentralized uh solutions that are probably more fog based I'd like to think that um, I could host a bunch of storage for uh, everyone in my town. I really think that uh, something along the lines of uh, that is so close at hand. And being closer, hopefully that helps with things, uh, you know, any bottlenecks that might exist currently uh, with, like, speed. Um, so, anyhow kind of ranting there so i'm gonna let you guys go as always i really hope you guys subscribe because we're so close we're so close to 2000 guys and uh the goal was to hit that this weekend um and we will hit that we will hit that this weekend so thank you thank you to everyone who's been here since the beginning thank you to everyone who's subscribing for the first time right now and everyone in between you guys have been so amazing i can't thank you guys enough um it's just been incredible and um, the other goal was to hit 300 on Steam It. And uh, I believe I'm just about to hit it any second now. So if you're on Steam It, go be number 300. Go do it. Go make it happen. And let me know in the comments if you're number 300. I'd love to know who you are and uh, say thank you myself. So anyhow, guys, I really appreciate you guys stopping by. And uh, as always, I am the King of Dew. May the Force be with you.